सो लोग वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो टूडे आई हैव गॉट दिस लेजेंडरी मोटरसाइकिल दिस हीरो होंडा सी बी जेड एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट द ओवरऑल हिस्ट्री एंड राइडिंग फील ऑफ दिस मोटरसाइकिल बिकॉज दिस हैज बीन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मोटरसाइकिल इन द यूनियन मार्केट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सम सीडिंग ऑन द हीरो होंडा सी बी जेड एंड दिस हैज एन गॉट अ सेल्फ स्टार्ट इट स्टार्ट विद दिस केक and the best part about this motorcycle is that that you can start kick start this motorcycle in any gear just hold the clutch and it comes to life and as you can see the tachometer is working and even the speedometer works really nicely so let's get riding and obviously this is an old motorcycle but as i said this is responsible for a lot of our bringings in the indian market because this was the first motorcycle introduced in the 150 cc segment so talking about this engine this has got a 156 cc single cylinder shc motor which is a four stroke unit and produces about 12.5 horsepower and 12.5 newton meters of torque well that was a lot of power for the year 1999 well that's there when this motorcycle was officially launched in the indian market and in the indian market which was ruled by the 100 cc or 115 cc smaller capacity commuter motorcycles this was really revolutionary because it started the sports commuter segment in the indian market it kick started that segment and which was further taken forward by the pulsar twins the 150 and the 180 so as you can see the speedometer is working and even the tachometer is working so let's see how it feels when you really whack open the throttle so first gear it has got a lot of oomph left oh my god revs all the way up to 10000 rpm that's 90 and that's doing 100 so yes a very fast motorcycle for the age so as you just saw it touched 100 km per hour and that was quite quick for a 150 cc motorcycle that to a 16 year old unit so this one has got a lot of oomph left and actually the engine is in very good condition besides being 16 year old and as you just saw the tachometer and the speedometer is working but they are not really perfect so when we will do a 0 to 100 test i'll just put a speedometer a gopro speedometer on the side of this clip so you just know how fast this motorcycle is going in the real world the riding position is quite good it was a bit of upright and pegs were a bit rare set for giving you the sporty feel and the gear pattern for this unit is first down and four up so this is a five speed motorcycle and the top speed of this motorcycle happens to be about 115 km per hour which is actually respectable for the time and i previously reviewed the apache rtr 160 on my channel and well this feels better in terms of low end performance yes truly this motorcycle feels really strong lower down and the sound of the engine is very good well you while you rev this motorcycle it sounds very good oh yeah so talking about the overall weight of this motorcycle this motorcycle weighs 138 kg which is on the lighter side and not that heavy so the perform it helped in the performance department and uh, talking about the mileage well the mileage of this motorcycle was not the best back in the days and it's not the best even today and uh, the mileage of this motorcycle is about 35 to 40 km per liter and that's what the company claimed and uh, it actually returned about 32 to 35 38 km per liter so the mileage was not that good but the overall feel of riding this motorcycle was really good it, it gave you the big bike feel back in the days and uh, obviously when there's no motorcycle with a bigger engine it had to have the big bike feel the model which was launched in 1999 and sold up to 
had a keen slide type carburetor which uh, gave it an extra boost while uh, pulling this motorcycle and uh, that motorcycle actually produced 14.25 horsepower so that was about 1.5 horsepower more from this model which was introduced in 2004 the CBZ star and uh, it had about 12.5 horsepower as i said so yes the power was a bit down but uh, that didn't made it a slow motorcycle in in any means it was still a very fast motorcycle and with a top speed of about 115 km per hour this meant business so let's do a quick acceleration test of the cbz and uh, first gear Cycle that just pulled up to 220 kilometers per hour, and uh, that was quite an experience. The pull of this motor is really strong. I mean, in fifth gear, wow, that's good. And the handle is a bit wobbly because the front tire is a bit narrow for this motorcycle. And yes, man, this has been an experience. The CBZ. So this is the motorcycle the Hero Honda CBZ and uh, obviously a very old motorcycle 16 years plus and uh, this is the engine 156 cc unit Hero and Honda badging here so this is the gear lever of this motorcycle it hasn't got a heel shift mechanism so this gave a really sporty feel to this motorcycle and uh, CBZ written here hero honda cbz so this is the cbz star so there is the star there and super sprint badging actually it's a sticker not a badge and uh, this was for locking the helmet so that was convenient this, these are not the original indicators and the tail section of this motorcycle was really interesting super sleek and small tail light and the rear tire was a 100 section tire this tire is really gone and it has this cover for the chain and uh, suspension as i said is tuned for commuting not really stiff it is on the softer side and uh, it, these are spoke rims so it was really classy so the cbz was never the, the first generation of the cbz was never launched with alloy rims it had these spoke rims and uh, the seat was long and slick the tank is a 12.5 liter unit and the tank of this motorcycle is actually really clean clean in the sense because it hasn't got any dents on it and uh, this is the console speedometer marked up to 160 km per hour this is the trip meter and uh, this is the tachometer and an analog fuel meter which looks really good and so this has got a 240 mm front disc with Nissan calipers one of the oldest Nissan caliper setup and the front is a very actually this is a 80 section tire i guess and which is very thin for this motorcycle so that's it and uh, this had the this also had a body cladding on this part which this motorcycle hasn't got and I'll, it looked something like this so overall the motorcycle look looked very good muscular for its time and age that was 1999 to the year 2005 and the year 2005 was when this motorcycle got discontinued so that was it for this video guys so this was a brief 
history and review of this motorcycle and i just gave you the riding feel of this motorcycle it is a brilliant motorcycle so yeah that was it for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the motor portal channel and i will see you guys in the next video till then ride safe and ride hard